is a breaking news alert. And within the last hour, an ambulance, no lights, no siren, pulling away from a downtown hotel with police following inside that ambulance. The suspect accused of a 12 hour hostage standoff, which at one point included two little children. Well, after those kids were released, the man continued holding a woman at the hotel just feet away from the Gateway Arch. First Lord Force Nathan Vickers on this scene and the store and on this story following the new developments for us, Nathan. Well, we just finished up talking to police about the timeline of all this and what happened, but we want to show you what's going on right now. Right now, the Drury Hotel is back open. I walked through a second ago. There were guests inside. Carmine's next door is back open. It's kind of business as usual here in downtown St. Louis today. We've been watching this throughout the day. Just before uh, 5 uh, p.m., we saw a man wheeled out in a stretcher on an ambulance that you showed a second ago. And then they stayed here for a few minutes before driving away. Police say that man was not injured and neither was the woman who was barricaded in the room with him. Here's how all this started. Officers told us they responded to a call from a child around 515 this morning. The child told them they were locked in a bathroom with their sibling and that their mom and a man were fighting in their hotel room. At one point during the call, the man got on the phone. He indicated that he was armed. When officers responded, they got the kids to safety, but the man stayed barricaded inside with the woman. Officers described him as suffering from PTSD. They say they evacuated the surrounding rooms. We saw them walking people out of the lobby earlier. But now that the man is in custody, this appears to be resolved. Here's what police say that progression looked like for them. 4.29 p.m. He surrendered to us, but at 3.40, she, she was released. Got so she, okay. we got her out first, okay. now we understand. and then he was released after that. He surrendered himself after that. How's okay. she doing? She's doing well. Everyone's doing well. Um, he's actually getting the psychiatric help that he needs, and she was uninjured, so she's home with family right now. Are the two related? You said they knew each other. They knew each other. I'm not sure what the extent of that is, though. Children they? are okay. Children are good. They were, they, were, they were taken out rather quickly after the incident sure. occurred, and... Um, they were in good hands after that with family. But Police say that man was taken to a psychiatric hospital for further evaluation. They say that officers were able to establish a rapport with him earlier in the day that allowed them to make progress throughout the day and lead to this resolution tonight where nobody was injured. Reporting live, Nathan Vickers, First Alert 4. Nathan.